So I'm pretty happy when I look at this and you can also turn visibility on and off here in terms of its tone. But I feel like even though there's not as much of a green cast as what we have here, there's still an overall kind of color cast over the image. And here, if I look at this part of the um, owl head, and you can switch to the eyedropper tool if you wanna, well, actually it's not really showing up that much, but I can see that there is still a, a little bit of a color cast there and I, I want to get rid of it. So an owl should be, um, should have a lot more brown in the feathers. So brown means a little bit more yellow, a little bit more magenta, more magenta. And that would be my next step going in and adjusting those. Now I wanna point out that uh, there are a number of different ways to do this. You could actually uh, continue to use the levels option here and that would you could go in and adjust the, the red, green, and blue separately, but I think often that becomes too confusing. So I'm gonna do a separate adjustment layer for that. I'm gonna to go to color balance, and you can see it starts with the mid-tones. If I look at my owl, I see still see a little bit of kind of green, blue in the highlight area. So I am going to start with the highlights. I am going to add a little magenta and a little bit of yellow. And again, turn it on and off. So this is without it, this is with it. And I'm starting to see a little bit more of kind of a golden look to the, the feathers. And maybe just a little bit of red as well. Or maybe too much red. So um, one way you could do this is you can adjust this by maybe five pixel values at a time. Oh, and you always need to keep an eye on the, the kind of highlight area. I'm gonna go into the mid-tones and uh, here it's looking, still looking a little green to me as well. So maybe just add a tiny bit of magenta and a tiny bit of yellow. And again, you always have to turn something on and off so you can see the difference. So again, this is looking a lot more golden to me. And that's what the owl, how the owl should look, like a kind of golden brown. So now um, the blacks, you can see here, they're kind of a cool black. By adding some red into the mid-tones, we've made it a, a much warmer black. And again, we can go into the shadows as well. And uh, here, maybe just five points and three points of magenta. And again, just compare before and after to make sure you're happy with, with how it looks. Now here, um, again, this is color balance. You can turn it on and off here and you can adjust the three different areas, shadows, mid-tones, and highlights separately. Start with smaller values. It's very easy to kind of do something that is undesirable by going too far. So here, um, I think I have negative 20. And this looks much, much warmer to me, much, much kind of more of a golden brown and that's how an owl should look. Preserve luminosity is set here, that's fine, that's perfect. And I just wanna show you that if you, you've done a bunch of adjustments, you're unhappy with all of them, you can just click on this undo key here and that will set your all your color adjustments back to what they were originally. Now I actually I want to keep my my color adjustments so I'm just going to go back to this point here on my history palette where I actually have my adjustments in place. Now I want to point out that I use two different adjustment layers for, for here. If I wanted to go in and make more changes uh, say I look at it again and I'm not happy with the, the way the tones are arranged in the image, I could bring my levels adjustment back up again by clicking on the little histogram icon on the layer. And here I have my, my levels. So if I wanted to go in and make adjustments, say to the midtones, I could do that here. And if I wanna go in and make more adjustments to the color balance, 
click here and that that brings that up so this is what's known as non-destructive editing because except for the pixels that I cropped out of the image um, all of the color adjustments I've done to my image are, are not permanent they're on separate layers so I can save my file and go back to it and it will I'll still be able to kind of go back to the original image and work from there.